coronavirus could already be a pandemic and we just don't know it. Um, if we look at the methods people are using for screening for coronavirus, we're finding out that they are insufficient. If we look at this article here, more than 300 U.S. citizens and their immediate family members who had been passengers on the Diamond Princess cruise ship were taken off the vessel and repatriated back to the United States on two chartered flights that landed at the Travis Air Force Base in California and the Lackland Air Force Base in Texas early Monday. In a statement, a Department of State spokesperson said Monday that the American evacuees were all deemed asymptomatic and fit to fly before being processed for evacuation. So they weren't, weren't showing symptoms and they were screened, right, and they were deemed fit to fly, quote unquote. But during the evacuation process, after passengers had left the ship and gone to the airport, U.S. officials received notice that 14 passengers who had been tested two to three days earlier had tested positive for COVID-19. These individuals were moved in the most expeditious and safe manner to specialized containment area on the evacuation aircraft to isolate them in accordance with standard protocols. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's 14 people who had it. They didn't know they had it. They got it from someone who didn't know they had it. Uh, this just shows, I mean, first of all, that our screening method, because really when they test, quote unquote, test people for coronavirus, they check their temperature and they say, oh, you don't have a temperature, therefore you don't have coronavirus. That's what they did on the cruise ship. And the cruise ship um, that docked in Cambodia, that cruise ship was out to sea for 14 days. They checked people's temperature. Eh, we're everybody, nobody has a temperature. We're good. Get them off the ship, right? And it turns out they let hundreds of people off that ship. And we don't know how many of those hundreds of people had coronavirus. And we don't know how many people they've made contact with and could have potentially spread the coronavirus to. I mean, this cruise ship, they let one person off in Hong Kong who had coronavirus. And then they find out. Now, if we look at the report, 454 people on that cruise ship from one known case have coronavirus already. Uh, it's just ridiculous. And, and the screening method is, again, the, the CDC, the United States of America decided that <clears throat> these people were fit to fly back. They screened them. And then later on, after a test came back, they found out they have coronavirus. And so if you're not actually testing them with a lab test, just assume they have coronavirus. That's probably the safest thing to do. These people who we know, who we now know have coronavirus, at least 14 of them, are all coming back to the United States. And we don't know how many people those 14 infected before they were uh, quarantined or isolated from the rest of the pastors. I mean, they're all technically quarantined, right? But they were isolated, uh, I guess, quarantined within a quarantine. Um, but we also know that 14 days isn't sufficient, right? Because they hold these people for 14 days. They check them for a fever and then let them go. And, and we're finding that that method is severely insufficient. And But that's the method we've been using for so long now, especially when we're trying to contain it outside of China, that we've been letting this disease out. <laughs> And we don't, we just don't know how many people have been exposed. How many people outside of quarantine have been exposed to this disease? Uh, outside of quarantine and outside of China. I'm not concerned about what's happening in China right now. I mean, yeah, China's, I just don't go to China. That's all I'm saying. And don't let anyone from China into your country. I know they say that's racist, but I mean, we just, just assume all of China's infected for now. And I know they keep talking, hey, we're getting it under control. I don't think so. Um, but that it just, I mean, the number of leaks and the number of incidents where, where people could have just spread this disease far and wide are increasing. You know? Uh, yeah, let me look at that article again. Let me show you. I had another article here. Uh, Scramble to track Cambodian cruise passengers after coronavirus reported case. Uh, scramble to track the past health authorities scramble on monday to track hundreds 
of passengers who disembarked from a cruise ship in Cambodia last week after women tested positive for coronavirus. So they got a lot of the, so a lot of those passengers went off already. And of those hundreds who got off, we have no no idea how many of them have coronavirus. And so now they're all scrambling to try and track them down. But how many of people have they made contact with? You know, this can already be a pandemic. And we won't know for another, you know, two or three weeks. You know, I, my prediction is sometime within the next month, we're just going to start seeing tons of coronavirus cases popping up all over the world in unexpected places. And then that's when people are probably going to start, you know, that's when alarm, alarm barrels are going to start going off at the World Health Organization and the CDC. And people are going to be like, oh, what? why? What happened? Where are all these cases coming from? Well, because you're sending people with coronavirus through international airports. That's how you create a pandemic. Uh, it's it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, it's genie's out of the bottle, right? Uh, Singapore... <laughs> We can look at these numbers here. I've, I've updated my charts. Um, Singapore is, is on another downswing. But again, <clears throat> you kind of have these waves, right? You'll, you'll get these waves. Japan went down a little bit too. So we have, uh, yeah, let me just throw this over here. Uh, three Only three cases in Singapore. But Singapore has consistently shown cases. And when we see how contagious this is, I'm telling you, this is a lull. We're hitting a lull, right? And people are getting complacent. They're like, yeah, we're getting it contained. You know, sometime in the next two or three weeks, this thing's going to blow up and it's going to blow up big. And, it, and it's, and it's, it's going to start popping up in places where we just don't expect it. Because we've, people have been sloppy, you know? I mean, we have people traveling internationally, and all these things. People who are asymptomatic, again, we check for coronavirus by checking people for symptoms. And we're finding that it's severely insufficient. That is not a good idea. Because they can have it just and just not be showing symptoms. And they're contagious even before they're showing symptoms. We know this much. You know, and that's how many so many people got it on the cruise ship. Because there were so many people who had it, they weren't showing symptoms, but they were spreading it to other people. You know? 455 cases what was it yeah 454 and and tomorrow that number is probably going to go up you know and we're bringing at least 14 of them back to the u.s they're only going to hold them for two weeks ah, they should hold them longer if you ask me and they should have a test they should do a lab test not don't just check their temperature do an actual lab test to make sure they don't have coronavirus before releasing them back to the general public and even then, sometimes you get false negatives with these lab tests. That's been shown too. Uh, some people have been tested twice. They'll get a false negative, then they'll be tested again. Then it'll show positive for coronavirus. So it's just, I mean, just the number of incidents where it's just we have so many slip, slip ups. And it just takes one. It takes one slip up. One contaminated, patient, contaminated person traveling through an international airport to turn this thing into a pandemic. That's all it takes, um, seeing how contagious this is. And, and we've had multiple incidents, incidents, right? I mean, hundreds of people coming off this cruise ship. Who knows where they're going? And who knows how many of them have coronavirus, you know? So, yeah. I, am I saying definitely it's a pandemic? No. Can it become a pandemic? Yeah. Could it already be a pandemic? Yes. We just don't know about it. Again, we're operating on intel that's two weeks behind. We're, we're in that lull, right? You see it, oh, all the numbers are going down. Everything's looking good, right? We're in a lull right now. The numbers are gonna drop. Everything's gonna look good. And then the people who are currently infected, which is probably a massive amount of people right now, they're gonna start to show symptoms in the next two or three weeks. And then all of a sudden, we're going to have a lot of tests. We're going to have a, you know, a lot of people getting confirmed for coronavirus. And they're going to be in just some of the most crazy places in the world. You know, and it's just going to blow up. So can I say 100% that's going to happen? No, I can't say 100%. But just looking at the numbers, looking at what I've been seeing, looking at how contagious this is, that's my current prediction. 
you know, if I'm wrong, again, I'm always happy to be wrong about this, but I don't believe I am. Uh, this is one of those cases where you hope you're wrong, <laughs> but I, I honestly, I don't think I am. So we'll see. Just a short video today. Keep your head up, people. Um, and, and this is how it's going to get into the United States. I'm from the U.S., so that's why it's important to me. I, I don't want it in the United States, but this is how it's going to get in. It's going to go to some country where we don't even know it's at, and we're going to allow people from that country to fly to the United States, and they're going to come into the United States with coronavirus and start giving it to people. You know, And we won't find out until three weeks later. Oh, people all of a sudden in this city over here in the U.S., all of a sudden are starting to show symptoms of coronavirus. Oh, where did it come from? You know, well, I don't know, maybe because he sent someone through an international airport who had coronavirus. Okay, thanks for watching. Short video. Uh, catch you guys next time.